Welcome back everybody. I've got some exciting news. Pins are all built. All the pieces of them are built, but we gotta put them together. I'm gonna do that and probably can't see it, but right over there, about there, we got another camera. So now whenever we're recording stuff, there'll be a little bit more that's being recorded. Not that I'm, well, I'm kind of being lazy. Um, sometimes I'd record stuff, but I wouldn't do it twice to get two different angles of it. Now we have two cameras, we can get two angles of it. Thanks to my father-in-law who gave me his old GoPro. And in case you're wondering what that noise is, that would be the turkeys that are hanging up here in the law or in the rafters. We got two new turkeys. Um, a friend of ours, it just wasn't working out with them at their house and uh, they're doing okay here. Not necessarily where I want them to roost, but I'll allow it. They're not really causing any trouble right now. As long as they're not pooping on vehicles, I'm pretty happy. Overall though, I need to get started. As you can see, everything is pretty much in disarray back here. Um, and bales are in here, but they're not where they need to be. They're not setting where they're supposed to be. And then I got to put pens up, put the watering buckets in. So give me a little bit of time and everything will be coming together pretty easily. So stay tuned. See how we tack these with a screw. Basically what's gonna happen, I'm gonna come by, I'm gonna take the screw out, I'm gonna drill a hole for my pins. Our pins are bolts, mainly because they're cheaper than buying actual pins. Then we'll put a nut on the bottom of the top one right here. But what we won't do is we won't put a nut on the bottom of this one. This one is actually only four and a half inches, the pin, and I did that on, per or on the bolt, and I did that on purpose because three of these two by fours together like this, inch and a half times three, four and a half inches. That way it'll set in there, but it won't go through far enough to be in the way, and it'll be pretty much all the way down here. I could use a ferry to clean the barn in the garage. Be convenient. All done. They're all set up. Oh, well, I mean, we gotta clean these two up. The lens is foggy. Anyways, all cleaned up, all put together. You can see this is our alleyway down the middle. The only thing that we got to throw back in here yet is their water troughs, which are right there actually. They're basically, they're just mineral lick tubs. And then, the, oh yeah, we gotta make grain troughs. We're not sure how we're gonna do that yet. Yeah, if you have ideas for the grain troughs, put your comments down below or send pictures to Facebook, uh, the farm page on Facebook, and let us know what your ideas are. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm full of them. I'm full of something. Mm. Move in, Dave. Move in. One of them moved in early. Oh, I thought you were moving into the barn. No. Nope. Oh. Don't worry. There's a nice spot in there for you. This is hay. Ouch. Water trough. Ouch. Little grain bucket. Hot cocoa? No. Ice water. Comes your top. Ice water. Who's ready to move in? Is it cold out? I mean, yeah, it's warmer today than it has been, but it's still a little, a little chilly with that breeze. She can't get up. So I'm not getting up unless we're really moving. <laughs> All right, let's get these guys moving. We're going to go move some gravel first, 
over at uh, Chrissy's mom's house, my mother-in-law. But we will be back soon. Yeah, you can't see, but it's done. Huh. Some weird looking gravel we brought back from grandma's. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so basically how this is gonna work. Man. Bruised my chest or something, that hurts. But we're gonna open we're gonna start down there. We'll open one set of gate one set of pins at a time. Push eight of them in each pin and close it. And then as we come forward obviously we'll shut each pin but we want to keep the ones that have a bag so we've got a few out there that are their bag is full and they're gonna give birth here shortly so what we want to do is kind of get them together we want them to all be with her and her baby in this pin so Chrissy and her brother are gonna help so we can get this done hopefully easily any words of wisdom Bobby, words of wisdom? Nope, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. You're done. She's showing us what not to do. <laughs> Basically, we're opening all the pins, but we're only opening one end of each pin. So, down there, that pin has a bolt going through it that's hinging so that it can swing open. Same thing right here, whereas normally this would be in there. What we did was we moved it. So this one come out and then we put the pin, the bolt back through those two pins so that we can swing this end out down here. And then we do the same thing on this side all the way up. And then as the sheep are coming down, we'll have however many, you know, eight in a pin. And as the eight come in, we'll swing, you know, so like this gate, for instance, we'll swing it all the way across. So this one will be completely closed. Sorry, I'm really struggling with that. It really hurts. Um, we'll swing this one all the way open like this. And that'll force them to go to this pin, needless to say. And then all we'll do, shut that pin. Those guys will be trapped. All right, Chrissy's gonna move the truck real quick and try to make a angle block over here. We'll bring them right through the lean-to and then straight into this barn, hopefully. It shouldn't be too bad. Like, there we go. It shouldn't be too bad because they generally want to follow the bucket. They obviously, that bucket correlates to food for them. They love rain. Let's go get these guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see them very well. Got them all in here. Shut the door. Excuse me, mama. Excuse me, girls. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Those are the firstborn lamb of the year, or the season. They kicked up a lot of dust in there, but all that dust came down again. Oh, get you. No, get you. All right, now we gotta push them all back this way. You got shut. Bye.
are all going to be nice and dry tomorrow when it rains. And next week when it potentially snows or freezes rain, this should be nice and dry and warm. So everybody seems to be doing all right. Everybody's upset. We did have a couple that tested out the strength of the pins because they got wedged. Well, they didn't get wedged. They got behind this bale right here. They went between the bale and the uh, panel right there. You can see it like the fencing itself is pushed this way, but it'll push right back whenever the other, if they pushed on the other side. Didn't pull any of the staples out, but they had a lot of pressure against it. They had three of them back there. They were, they were packed. So, other than that, Chris did all the hard work because my rib is really hurting. Whew, you did a good job. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it's hurt. I dropped a tank on my chest whenever I was working on something and it didn't feel good at all. Bet you wish you had asked for help. I'm, I do now. Mm -hmm. And top it off, it was cold too. Nope. Is that full? Nope. Oh. Almost. That's going to be the biggest challenge. Is we are really good at leaving water run and not turning it off in time. Fill it up and then and you basically turn it on and run away. That's why we got an automatic water. We paid, uh, like, Please tell us we're not the only ones that do that. I think we paid like 10 bucks for that deal. The, basically a float valve. It's worth it. Yeah, we probably saved at least that in water. Get out from behind there. Little black lambs back there. Yeah. But we did open the doors down here because, as you can see, I'm sure you saw it on the time lapse. Every time we would run any of the animals out of the original barn because the dirt floor had kept up a lot of dust, all that dust would come this way. If we wet it down so. next time ahead of time, it won't yeah. be as bad. But well, yeah, I don't know. We've got we got a lot of stuff to figure out before the next time. Like how we can make this barn bigger. Yeah, well, you better be coming into some money quick. You hear that? Like and subscribe. Buy some shirts. All that money, anything that we get from uh, YouTube revenue or shirt sales, it all goes right back to our farm. We don't use it for anything else. Not that we make much of it. I think we've made 180 bucks. Something like that. I don't know. It wasn't much. Music